Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to take dynamic values as well as formulas and turn them into the static values that you can currently see. And if you'd like to get this workbook, simply go to teachexcel.com, search for the video tutorial, and you can download everything there. Now, just to explain what I've got here, I have one column with random values. I use the rand formula, or the rand function. And every time I update the worksheet, or um, if I even highlight one cell and hit enter, all of the rand values will change. What I have here is a link to another worksheet in the same workbook, sheet two. And here I simply have um, a small formula to multiply column B by column A. So what we're going to do here is just to uh, see that uh, the method we're going to use can transform all of these <clears throat> formulas and links into the values that we currently see. So let's go ahead and do this. What we're doing is actually copying and then pasting the values. So um, that's really all it is. And I'm going to um, show you a really quick way to do it first and then go through the steps. So I updated the values again. And now let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you how to do it really quickly. So now what I've done is I've taken all the formulas and made them the values that you can actually see. That means when I hit F9 or enter another cell and hit enter, nothing changes. So that's the effect that we're going for. Now let me back up and now I've got it all back here. So um, if you want to do it by hand, I used a shortcut there, what you can do is to highlight all of the values <clears throat> or just highlight a column or row. Right click, copy, select another cell of similar size or range that is similar size. Right click, go to paste special. A window like this is going to pop up. Select the values little bubble right here and then click OK. And you can see that we have pasted all of the values here. Now they're not the same as these right now because as soon as we did that, the rand function updated. But that is essentially what I did just with short or keyboard shortcuts. Now the important thing is you don't want to um, <clears throat> change, you don't want to have this data repeated, right? You don't want to have it here and copy it here. So to do that, simply highlight the data you want to freeze basically, right click, copy right click paste special check values click OK and now this cell is completely frozen or this range so all we did was paste the values over the actual formulas now here I'll show you the keyboard shortcut to do it very quickly and the shortcut is to paste values alt E S V seems like a lot it's gonna be hard to remember the first few times but if you have to paste values a lot, then uh, this will come in handy and save you some time. So let's go ahead and use this keyboard shortcut over here. So I'm going to highlight all of the cells that I need to um, only have their values for. And first you have to copy the cells, so Control C. Then without doing anything else, Alt E S V. So the V simply selected the value. So Alt ESV, then hit enter. Now all of these, instead of being formulas or links, are completely frozen and we've pasted the values in their place. So that is a, um, I don't know, a very good little trick or a thing that a lot of people don't know, how you can make your formulas completely static and replace them with their values. Um, and it's very good if you're doing simulations because oftentimes you need to freeze random values for certain points. And if you'd like to get this workbook, simply go to teachexcel.com, search for the video tutorial, and you can download it there. That is pretty much it for this tutorial.